so summer hairstyle number one is pretty much you start off with your natural hair and all you're gonna do is pull it all to one side pull it back here and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that hair pin it upwards so that's part one and then the second part is you're gonna take one more bobby pin you're gonna take your hair from here from the front that frames your face and you're gonna you're just gonna twist and you're gonna where you pin that first one you're gonna place it right on top you're gonna take your bobby pin and pin and make an X with the previous one so it's just gonna stay just like that and then you have like this little voluminous little poof thingy that is summer hairstyle number one summer hairstyle number two it's my sock bun. I had this in my outfit of the day video, but I decided to show you guys how to do this. You just take a sock. This one I don't use anymore because this thing like stretched out, so I can't use it. So all you're going to do is take a long sock, preferably the color that's closest to your hair. So if you have blonde hair, probably use like a white sock. If you have brown hair, use a black sock. And you're just going to cut the tip off of this. These are really bad scissors. Okay, so once you're... Yeah. Okay. So once you're done cutting the a little hole right here. You're going to take the end of the sock, you're going to start rolling it up. Just like this. So you're just going to start rolling it. Oh, there's like a hair on my sock. Rolling your sock up. So it ends up looking like a little donut like this. Then all you're going to do is just pull all your hair up. I wish this camera went up more. Just pull your hair up. And Take your sock bun, pull it through, and then you can, your objective is to get all this hair around the bun, like this. And then you're going to take a rubber band, well I don't have a black one, but for now this will work. Any um, hair band, probably the closest to your hair color, but I don't have that. You're just going to put it around your hair like this. And then, oh, I can't see. And then you're going to start pulling it out, just to make it a little more voluminous, like that. And then, you're going to take the remaining, see how I have like all this like weird remaining hair? So I'm going to split it right here on the right side, and all this hair right here, I'm going to pull it around so it covers that rubber band. And I'm just gonna make up and pin it like this. And then take the hair from the back and also bring it to the front like this and pin it again. So the only thing you're trying to do here is just pretty much cover that rubber band. And if you don't like how it looks, you just play around with it and you can poof it up a little more. Um, this usually works better if your hair is curled or if you have naturally curly hair because just so it's like bigger. But you're just going to pull up and that's pretty much what it's supposed to look like. And if you want, I like to pull my bangs back just because um, it's summertime and I don't, like my, I don't really like my bangs on my face. So I just like to pull my bangs back. So what I would just do is... I would take, since my bangs are getting kind of long, I'm going to take them and I'm going to kind of like wrap them around the base of the, the bun and I'm just going to pin it like this. Oh, my dog. Okay, so that's pretty much my sock bun. I've been doing this a lot just because, um, oh, I lost the hair. Just because I don't like my hair in my face anymore, especially because it's summer. I hate um, when it's super hot. And if you guys want more volume, you just pull out the sides. And I also like to pin this up, because I have little, like, baby hairs back here. And I just pin this up like this. And that's hairstyle number two. Okay, so for this next hat. Okay, so for this next hairstyle, pretty much all I'm doing is just waving my hair like I, I did in my um, first actual hair tutorial. I'm just taking the barrel and just wrapping it around. But as you can see, I'm not putting too much effort into this because you want you want this to be kind of messy. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of backcomb it a little bit. 
just so that you don't really need to curl all of your hair, but just, just so that it looks a little bit wavy in most places. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with this. Now that I have my loosely waved hair, I'm going to take some, this is just the Aussie Sprunch Spray, Sprunch, Sprunch Spray, and yeah, okay, so you're just going to spray your hair, and what you do with this is you, you like scrunch it up like that. Then, what I like to do, just to make it a little bit more messy, I like to just take my comb and just lightly back comb my hair. This is pretty much my third hairstyle. You guys have probably already seen a video on it, but I just want to show you guys for this time um, what different things you can do with it, how to make it more summery looking. This third hairstyle, you can take one of those headbands, that those elastic ones, and you can put it around your head. And all you do is just pull up these some little pieces just to make it a little bit more voluminous. The other thing you can do is pretty much do the same thing that I did with my natural hair. Just pull it all to one side. I did this for my Valentine's Day tutorial, but this is a little more messy because um, it's just for summer because no one... Valentine's Day, you want to look a little more polished. For summer, you can just... no one really cares. So here, you want to leave a little piece out. Pull it to this side, pin it, pin one up, take this front piece, make a little poof, pin one down. Just like this. So you get a little poof right here. If you guys wanted to, you guys could add like a little flower right here, like let me see. I kind of have this one from my hula, from when I used to do hula, but you can pin, okay, I don't know, this might be a little bit too big, yeah, this is too big, but, I mean, I could show you guys what it looks like, so you can see the clip, but that's what that looks like, and the next thing you can do is take, is my um, Messy Waves ponytail, so you just take the front right here, and you just back comb a little bit. Just take sections of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't, remember, uh, remember, this part's just optional. You don't really have to do this. And you're going to take all your hair and just pull it up into a ponytail. And then you'll have this nice voluminous part right here. And then you just... Tie it once, tie it twice, I go three times, and then just pull. And then you can fix up all the parts in the front, and then you get this really pretty, um, voluminous, like, messy waves ponytail. Just like that.